Hi, Hot Rod. This is Bull Gumbo. This is your up close and personal look at the Walther P99 9mm. Uh, first thing I draw your attention to is this mag release that is on the trigger guard itself. Instead of putting it up here on the grip, where you could inadvertently, when you press in to, to purchase the gun, you could accidentally um, drop the magazine. So Walther puts it on the trigger guard itself. So as you pull that down, out comes the magazine. To disassemble this, it works like this. You release the sear, pull this little button down, and it comes off. You can see it has a captive screw on the inside, fairly sturdy captive screw, or captive spring, excuse me. Um, here's barrel. So now we're completely disassembled. You will also notice, you might notice that inside of here at the very top is the, uh, you can see the bottom of the front sight. So you can actually adjust the front sights by popping in by popping out this insert, and you have another three of varying heights that you can uh, squeeze fit into this same opening. So you're, you're adjustable for height. And as you'll see in a minute, you're also adjustable for uh, windage. So now we're back together again. So disassembly, reassembly is typical Walther. <laughs> It is good. Uh, on the back, you have a adjustment for windage. So there's a screw that lets you move this back and forth. You don't have to do any drifting. Don't have to do any type of... I've always hated the idea of doing the drifting, which is what you've got to do on the on uh, Glocks. So it's certainly friendly on that in that aspect. When you pull the trigger, you'll notice you could keep firing this in double action mode, even though this is a striker fired weapon. So to rack this thing, you see it's got this little red button on the back that lets you know you have a loaded chamber, helps to make it safer. On the top, if you want to decock and release that, that uh, firing pin, you simply press down on this button on the top and you're released. And now you're in strictly double action mode for the first shot. Every shot after that, as long as you want to keep, um, as long as you you use the the short trigger reset, you can do everything. It's going to be in single action. So trigger reset looks like this. So you're you're pulling the trigger, the gun racks, and you'll see I've got it pushed all the way back to the grip, and you'll see what the reset is here. That's the reset right there. And then you put it, then you pull and it fires. It is perhaps the shortest reset in the industry. High, highly desirable feature when you're firing multiple shots. So you can keep that the gun on target in your finger instead of going back and forth. It's just going boom, 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 boom to get off multiple shots. Um, two 10 round magazines, the factory magazines that come with the gun. Then let's see what else I would show you on here. You've got a rail for putting accessories on the front. You have uh, adjustable back straps. So Walther, actually, to make this as, as customizable to your individual grip, gives you two additional back straps. I think this is the medium one, so then you have a smaller one and a thicker one. And uh, Walther gives you a jag for running a patch through it. They give you uh, a small Allen wrench. For uh, some, some for tweaking some of these adjustments, and I th think that's about uh, that's about it. You got any other questions? I, I hope this was helpful to you, and hope to talk to you soon.